the new version of Mark Edit, <coughs> YouTube will be released uh, December 1st, 2nd ish. Um, I've been working on a framework for integrating direct integration with um, these newer uh, ILS discovery platforms. Um, specifically, the idea is to be able to take advantage of, of resources provided by, for example, Sierra or Alma or Koha or other systems that provide um, easy to use API that allow for uh, direct search, update, um, creation of bibliographic records, uh, maybe even at some point deletion of records, <coughs> the ability to set holdings and whatnot. Um, for an initial uh, development, um, I've been working with Koha. Uh, the, uh, and I've posted a couple of videos demonstrating the uh, way to uh, configure MarkEdit to work with Koha um, and the direct integration as well as the uh, searching options that are available. Um, here I'm going to uh, demonstrate the uh, functionality for um, update and uh, creation of records um, in MarkEdit. So the direct integration components are found in the Mark Editor. So we'll go ahead and open the Mark Editor. As in the last videos, you'll see that the um, ILS, uh, direct ILS uh, configuration components uh, show up in between the tools and the plugins. In this case, I've got Koha. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and search for a couple records. I'm using a test database, so I've populated a handful of records. Uh, they have my name uh, as an author. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull those. There are four. I'm going to go ahead and download each one. and. When downloading them, um, I can select them all, I can select individual records, and when there's data already in the Mark Editor, you get an option once during the initial session um, <coughs> to decide whether or not you want to append existing data to the Mark Editor. I'm going to go ahead and tell it yes, and I'm going to go ahead and download the other two records, and it goes ahead and just appends them, and so now I have my four records here. Uh, from my test Koha database. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to run um, a process that's uh, called the RDA helper. Um, it'll convert these records to RDA uh, records. We went ahead and finished and I look at my records here I can see that 337's and 38's have been added. Um, and 336s uh, for records that didn't need it. They've been, um, they've been. Uh, it, it's only added the RDA stuff to the, the pieces that are there. So now I want to update these records back um, to my uh, Koha system. So the way that uh, MarkEdit determines what records to upload um, in Koha, at least in my test instance, um, there's a field, the 999 subfield D, which identifies the bibliographic record number within the database. Um, this is a field um, that uh, I'm pretty sure is static, but just in case I've, I've set it up so it can be a customizable field. Um, for right now, um, for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, MarkEdit is going to be looking for the presence of that 999 field. In the background, uh, MarkEdit's doing a number of things. It's taking these records and converting them to MarkXML and then pushing that data as MarkXML back up to the Koha site. Um, so I'll go ahead and go um, to the update create process. This is a single process because MarkEdit, if the 999 field or the defined uh, field for bib number isn't present, then MarkEdit will identify it as a new record and it will go through the process of creating a new record. If the 999 um, or bibliographic identifier is present, then it goes ahead and it pushes the data up as an updated record. So I'll go ahead and set the process. Um, and it goes ahead and it tells me that it's processing particular records, it's pushing the Mark XML up through the uh, API and the records have been finished. And so at this point um, I am uh, finished. And so I can go ahead and close this and I don't need to save the data because this is my local copy. My edited copy has now been pushed up um, to uh, the, uh, the uh, database. Um, now I can do that for records that I pull from my catalog. I can also take new records. So for example, if I had a set of vendor records, I could open that set of vendor records into the Mark Editor, um, and I could actually push that data directly 
into uh, my ILS using the same process. Mark Edit would look for the presence of a uh, of the bibliographic record number, not finding it, it would upload that data as a new record. So um, that's the very simplified process uh, for doing um, update creation of bibliographic data directly in uh, MarkEdit, um, integrating with uh, the ILS system, in this case, this particular case, Koha. Um, <clears throat> as uh, uh, as uh, people use this and um, and give feedback, then uh, we'll uh, see if we can uh, provide um, maybe additional functionality if, if that's what's needed. If you have questions, let me know.